Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm coming at you with another video and we're doing another channel update already? What? Okay, well let's get into it. But of course, if you're new to my channel, what up? My name is Mitch, Maverick Mitch, Hey Mitch Mitch, all the Mitch, and pretty much I like talking about what I'm talking about. So current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. So again, I like talking about what I like talking about. So the last review I did was a Brave New World on Peacock. Check that out. I thought it was more, the trailer looked better than the actual TV show, but definitely check out the review, tell, let me know what you think, and then go from there. And also I do some social political commentary, so be sure to check out those videos as, you, as you're finishing this video. So channel update a month after my last channel update, so I do these channel updates every six months, but in my last update, which I did just a month ago, I said my goal was to hit 300, and I already hit 300, so <laughs> yeah, what up? So pretty much this is an amendment to that goal because again I like to do my goals kind of like in six month periods type thing so I'm going to amend this and so since I already hit 100 and I already hit 300 now I'm going to combine it together to my goal of 400. Woo -woo. Okay so December going to hit 400 help me to build that so that's my new goal. Also in that video, my goal was to decor my background behind me and get it all set up with bookshelves and art and whatever and, and just makes it look good for this channel. So that's my other goal. So I guess my third goal, if I'm going to amend it kind of right now, and it's going to be kind of like to, if I have my background set up, I'm going to look into maybe setting up a podcast style, right? Because I do want to do that. I do want to diversify and I want to like make my content better, you know, in event you know, just developing more like good content, right? So moving forward, I do want to do more collaborative things on my channel. And one thing that I want to advertise is I actually did an interview with Zanita Allen. Be sure to check her channel and you know, I'll, I'll do some clips on about it on here. So get into that. Different questions, kind of what I asked earlier, but what do you see or feel uh, is the ideology of most Asian or Filipino Americans when it comes to politics, do you think they mostly? I already answered they mostly conservative, right? Yeah. Do you do you see that that? Because I know a lot of when Obama ran, I think a lot of Asian people voted for him, but a lot of people kind of felt for his yeah. for him. But so the, as far as the ideology, you, you believe is mostly conservative, right? Um, you know, really, I'm just gonna like pinpoint like with the Filipinos, just because I think it like obviously it's my my background, and so. Like, we are very pro-God, pro-family, mm -hmm. pro pro-military, pro-America. Like, like, there's very conservative. Like, like, I think there is a level in which we're, like, Filipinos are very expressive versus the other Asian Americans. And I'm, I'm not trying to, that's a generalization, but like, mm -hmm. like, we like to sing, we like to dance, we like to be Karaoke, right? Yeah. And so I think that's why we're so active right now. Um, just because we're like, you know, like we, we, we in it, like everyone's in it. We, we want to be in it too. And so yeah. like, um, it's just, I, I think it's crazy. Like in my other video, I did a video about like, should, Dem should Filipinos walk away from the Democrats? And so I was talking about what, what would Filipino liberal values be? And I think there's a level in which we have a sense, there's a word we have is kababayan, which means your countrymen, your, your community. And so the left likes to use community in their, a lot of their words, like this is a community event type thing. And so I think a lot of Filipinos gravitate towards that. But I, what I said in that video is the Democrats back in the 80s and 90s, early 2000s is not what it is right now. Not the same like, anymore. Mm -hmm. Like it, this, they totally are pandering, not even pandering, they are accepting like progressive socialist Marxist, radical, like, radical, radical, like, radical, like this, like they may be moderate Democrats back in 2015, 2016, but now 2020, whoo. So that was really cool. I mean, that interview, she hit me up on, on YouTube saying like, hey, I would like to interview type thing. So this isn't the first time I kind of collaborated with someone. I did like the Kyle Gott stuff for the 3D 1X2 for the Air Force stuff. I also did a podcast with my friends, Tony Rose, and, and now this on Zanita Allen. So again, as I'm collaborating with more people, which is cool, but a lot of these times, it's more like podcast type um, styles. And I do a lot of, since I say a lot of ums and a lot of filler words, right, you know, <laughs> and so I still need to practice that style, right, and maybe take improv classes or something, but I definitely need to practice that style because I really can't 
do improv as well as I would like to. Like, yeah, there's a lot of thoughts I can say on the fly. Especially when it comes to my videos, I talk a lot on the fly a lot, but at least I have a framework of what to say. But just talking improv, I do have a problem. Like, I mean, it, it, it is, there's some skill involved to be able to talk nonstop and not, not do filler words and everything. So obviously it takes practice and everything. So having a podcast, have, taking improv classes, collaborating with other people in order to do that obviously is going to help me. So yeah. I guess real quick, as a final note, kind of like doing kind of like a lessons learned from doing the Zanita Allen video. Again, learning how to talk on the fly, um, minimize my filler words should be there too. I should practice that. Maybe, I don't know, do, like I said, do improv classes, maybe do more speeches or whatever. But again, um, it was very cool. I think looking back, I thought it was going to be more cringe, but everything that I said there was pretty much kind of like on point of what I was kind of thinking so I didn't say anything that I was I would regret per se you know there there everything that I everything that I said there was cool so be sure to check that out give her some support check out her other videos she does a lot of political commentary so she does a lot of like daily videos too so you're, you're gonna need to search for it but I'll link it below so check out that video and then of course like I said with this video and this channel update and amendment, I am going to reach my 400. At the time of this video, I'm at 309. So definitely working my way towards 400. So awesome. That's pretty much this kind of like channel, again, channel update for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check if you're a new subscriber, be sure to and subscribe and check out my other videos and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you.